What's up everyone, Art here with No Code Devs. And today I'm gonna to show you how to build a fully automated e-commerce store. Have you ever wanted to set up an e-commerce store for your brand or project, but didn't know where to start, how to handle the shipping, and how to set up the front end door? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do it in just a few easy steps. I'm gonna show you how to choose a dropshipping partner that's reliable and connect that to your front end in just a couple of clicks. It's super easy and only takes a few minutes. So let's dive in and show you how it all works. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right into this. For step one of this project, we're gonna wanna pick a dropshipping partner. Printful is a dropshipping partner of our choice because they have a ton of features, a ton of products. They're super reliable. They have a ton of integrations and marketplaces that you can connect to, as well as it's super simple to use and an easy one-click connect for a lot of different stores. So I've already signed in and created an account. You can create a free account if you haven't. I'll put a link in the show notes of this video on YouTube so you can easily create an account if you want. But I'm looking at their integrations here. They have a ton of different ones, whether you want to use Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce, Webflow, Squarespace, Wix, and many, many more. They even have a custom API option. If you want to use their custom API, you can filter and sort by different things like price, if it's free to start, et cetera, et cetera. I really like how in the description, they show the setup time, um, what it's best for, the price, whether the products are pushed directly to the store, out of stock notices, et cetera, et cetera. So you can get a really good sense of what the setup is going to be and how well this is going to integrate with your with your platform. So for this project, we have a ton of options. So you can really pick your favorite tool, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose Wix, which is actually gonna be Editor X in our use case, but it's a Wix product. The integration will work for both. Okay, so let's start on step two with this tutorial where we'll be setting up our front end store and then connecting Printful to our front end with a one-click integration. We'll show you how simple and easy and fast it is to get this all going. So we've landed at our X, which is a Wix product. It's an advanced website builder, but it's easy enough to use for anybody. When you go to create a new site, you're presented with a bunch of different templates that you could use. You could either grab an e-commerce template, start from a blank canvas here, or you could go to the wireframe section where they have this e-commerce wireframe that's ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and use that because it leaves the design mostly up to us, but it has all the pre-built elements that we need to connect and set up our store. So let's go ahead and click edit. Depending on your connection, this may take a minute or two because it does build all the site components that you need to launch your store, including the visual front end. But once it's ready, you will see that it's pretty much plug and play with Printful, which is super exciting. In a matter of 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can have your entire store set up. So here it comes, it's loading up right now. And as you can see, we have these different blocks that are pre-built. So we have these sample products in here that are showcased right here on the left center. We have a big call to action here, our logo, which we could easily upload and a bunch of other sections of the site. Keep in mind that you can edit any of these sections just by clicking into the blocks. You can delete things out. You have full editor options like you'd be familiar with any website builder. So step one here is to go ahead and connect Printful. So they have an app marketplace here within Editor X. If you click these four squares, it says app market. Once this loads up, there will be a search bar here. And within our search bar, we can just search for Pinful. There it is, okay. And on the Printful page, there's a bunch of information and tutorials about how to set up the app, but we're just going to go ahead and click add to site. Of note, this is free. It pays you go, so you only pay when people purchase products from your store. So go ahead and click add to site. There's a couple steps here. We have to agree to some permissions. And then we have to authenticate in. In this instance, I'm using my Google account, so we'll just go ahead and authenticate. And then finally here, just gonna have to go ahead and connect our store. And what this is doing on the back end is actually creating a new store for this site in our Printful account. 
you can have multiple stores in your Printful account. So if you were syncing one to Etsy, one to Webflow, one to Editor X, you could certainly do that. But just to give you a, some color to what's happening on the back end. So again, there's a bunch of information here so you can learn about how printing on demand works. They feature some of their best selling products, why you'd want to use Printful. Again, we definitely recommend Printful. It's a great product. We've had nothing but a great experience with it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click add our first products. And this is really, really good fun. They have really any product and every product that you can want for your brand, whether you're establishing a new e-commerce brand or you just want to add merchandise to your existing brand, they definitely have the solution for you. From men's clothing to women's clothing to hats, accessories, home and living, youth, there's really something here for everyone. So we'll keep this simple and we'll say that we want to sell t-shirts for our existing brand, No Code Dev. So let's go ahead and just go to men's clothing. If we click t-shirts, this is where you can actually choose your supplier. So you can filter by all kinds of different things like sizes and colors, um, fastest delivery, et cetera. But in these cards here where it shows you the product, you can see the estimated delivery time and where it is shipping from. So for this product, estimated delivery, 69 days, it's shipping from the US. Let's go ahead and just click this. It also shows that this is a bestseller within Printful. Now we are actually working within Editor X. We have Printful up within Editor X here, which is really cool. It's a fully integrated product. So this is super simple. You can choose your t-shirt colors that you want to sell. Let's just stick with white here. You can select your sizes and the type of printing that you want to do, whether it's embroidery or DTG printing. You can choose your design. I actually have some designs already pre-uploaded here from our brand, but you can very easily upload your own designs or you can add text of your own clip arts, quick designs, all kinds of different things. But we're just gonna use one of our designs that we already have. Let's just choose this one, hit apply. And there it goes. So now that it's loaded onto our shirt, it shows you the print area. It's a really nice editor here. You can move things around, get it centered how you would like. And once you're happy with the design, the position and the cropping, you can actually go ahead and click continue. By the way, it shows you some notes here, like the print quality. Maybe if your logo wasn't high enough quality, it would actually say that the print quality was poor here. So some really nice feedback tools as you go along the way to ensure that your customer is getting a high quality product. So let's go ahead and click continue. So now we have two different mock-up options. Custom mock-ups allow you to really personalize it using templates or you can do it from scratch, but we're just gonna choose basic mock-ups for this example. So these are the mock-ups that we get. We actually get some mock-ups with models, which is super, super cool. You can even choose the different placements here, what kind of mock-up format that you want. We're gonna choose PNG because it's a bit higher quality of an image, although the file is a little bit bigger, so it might affect your site load time, but I don't think it's gonna be a big deal for us, so we'll just go ahead and choose PNG. There's some additional settings here. Again, just more mockups if you want more mockups available on your store. So now that we're happy with what we have, let's go ahead and click continue. Now this is where you can edit the entire product description from the title to the length or longer description here. They pre-fill it with a bunch of information about the product. So if the customer is interested in the specs, the materials that are used to be, that are used to make the product, et cetera, et cetera, you can keep that all here. I do recommend that you add your own player to the product title and description so that you can make it unique to your brand, but all of this is editable. You can even map the categories to your store if you have different store categories for different products on your store. Once we're happy with everything here, we'll go ahead and click continue. And this is a really cool feature here. You can actually set the price for each variant of your product, and you're able to see the price that you're gonna pay for in full and the amount of revenue that you make based on the retail price, and you can increase the retail price. So let's just say we wanted to make this one dollars. We can see now this updates in real time will actually make $10.75 of revenue per unit sold on these, this item. You can adjust each uh, variant of the product individually and the revenue auto calculates for you so you can see how much you're making. Once you set everything and you're happy with how everything is, you can actually go ahead and click submit the store.
this just takes a second. It actually is syncing all of the images and descriptions directly to our front end builder, which in this case is Editor X. Again, if you were using Etsy or something like that, it would be relatively the same workflow, but within the Etsy experience if you were using Etsy. So just like that, it was successful. It says, congrats on adding your first product. Then Classic T, it think eight variants because we have eight different sizes and everything should now be on our front end site. So let's hop back over here to our Editor X website. If we go back to our pages, we can see this is our homepage, which would be showing our products, but we don't see anything here. So this is a quick fix. If we click into this block here on Editor X, we can manage our products or the settings for this block. The way that this template was configured it's showing the best sellers on the homepage, which makes sense, but we have not labeled this product as a best seller. So we just simply want to go to the settings and we can quickly choose here to show all products versus the featured product. So super easy. As soon as we click all products, we can see that our product is now loading right into this product block. If we added a second product, it would show up right next to this and so on and so forth. Again, this is just a template. You can completely modify and customize how this looks. You can go into the settings. You can choose the layout, whether you want a description below the product. You can change the text, the design, the filters, the sorting, there's all kinds of different sorting options. These are all Editor Direct features, which is why we recommend Editor X. There's a ton that you can do. It's very easy to set up for us in comparison to something like Shopify, but you can use any integration that Primful offers. If we go ahead and preview this on our site, we can actually see how this would look to the end user. So here we go, the store is live and check that out. When you hover over it, you actually get a different mockup, which is super cool. We can click into the product and look at this. There's a dynamic page that's already pre-built for us automatically that features this product. We can see the different mockups. We can also go ahead and choose this product. Let's say we wanted a large, we wanted a quantity of three of these. We could add it to our cart. Our cart, oh, I hit 13. Okay, so our cart updates in real time with our total. We can minimize the fly out here for our cart. We can continue shopping, navigate through the store. When we click order, if we were to click buy now, this would actually send the order to Printful would process it. It would ship it out to our customer and there'd be nothing that we would have to do on our end to fulfill the order. Super cool, really easy to set up. As you can see, you could add a ton of product in a matter of minute. You can even automate the product creation process with using some sort of AI tool to generate images and quickly upload those images on a ton of different products and have a store up and running in minutes. Of course, here for your existing brand, you would just update your logo to a bunch of different products that you think that your customers might be interested in and then sync those to your store. Click publish here and you have a live store where customers can now purchase your products and you don't have to worry about inventory or shipping any of the headaches that come with traditional e-commerce sites. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful, gets you up and running with setting up a store in a matter of minutes using Printful and Editor X. Thank you for checking it out and have a great day.